Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the unreleased cars and vehicles from the contract DLC update that has just arrived here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So the DLC is obviously here today. And on day one, Rockstar gave us seven vehicles, which is pretty cool. So really quickly going over the ones that have arrived on Legendary Motorsport. You have the Fister Astron, you have the Lampadati Sin Camilla, you have the Pegasi Ignis, you have the Anus Jubilee, the Anus Deity, and the Debauchee Champion. You guys can see the amount of seats there, the prices, and the trade prices, which we'll be going over in future videos. And then on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site, we have the Bravado Buffalo STX, which is the only one that has been released there. So seven vehicles and we have nine others remaining. I think we have eight and then the ninth one might be like a bonus car that we can get our hands on. So let's go ahead and go over them right now. So starting on the Legendary Motorsports site, and I don't know if this is the order they are going to be released in. I ended up seeing this post on Twitter. We have the Overflawed Zeno, which as you guys can see here is going to be priced at $2,820,000, this is going to be a two-door supercar. I hope this is one of the first vehicles that's released because, honestly, this looks incredible. This looks like one of the best vehicles that we're going to be getting uh, in the game. So there's the Overflawed Zeno. As you guys know, this is a new hypercar based on the 2021 SSC Tuatara. It's in the supercar class. Its in-game description is the torque-loaded Overflawed Zeno is famous for breaking two world records. The first, highest speed in a densely populated area. The second, most hospitalizations during a single attempt to break a world record. A real high flyer in every sense. So that's the Overflawed Zeno right there. Again, a really cool car. The next vehicle is the Fister Comet S2 Cabrio which has a price of $1,797,000. You can also see it is a two-seater right there. It's also going to be a sports car. In case you guys are wondering, yes, this is the same Fister Comet S2 that we previously received in the Los Santos Tuners update. It just has a convertible option. So that's kind of nice. I know fans were requesting that for a good bit. That's our second vehicle today. Our third vehicle today is the Nagasaki Shinobi, which has a price tag of $2,480,500, making it the second most expensive vehicle on the Legendary Motorsports site. I'm excited. We haven't gotten a lot of motorcycles in recent updates, so the fact that we're getting a new one right here is going to be pretty cool. And it's also not the only motorcycle we're getting. We're getting the Western Reaver as well. Both of these, again, to no one's surprise, one-seater for $1,900,000. Motorcycles aren't really my speciality, so if you guys have any info on not only these bikes, but the other cars and vehicles, definitely be sure to let us know in those comments down below. Uh, I would absolutely love to hear from you guys down there. So some pretty cool motorcycles that we're going to be getting our hands on. And then the last one is the Gallivanter Baller ST. So this one has a buy it now price of $890,000 and a trade price of $667,500. It's a four-seater. Of the unreleased cars on the Legendary Motorsports site, it is the cheapest. This is really to no one's surprise since it's basically a version of a vehicle that we already have in the game. So those are the five cars on the Legendary Motorsports site, the Overflawed Zeno being the most expensive, with the Nagasaki Shinobi being the second most expensive, followed by the Western Reaver, the Fister Comet S2 Cabrio, and then the Gallivanter Baller. So now let's move on over to the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site, where we've got three vehicles to look at here. The first is the Mammoth Patriot. This is going to be the mil spec version. And in case you guys are wondering, this is going to be a off-road vehicle, four-seater. You guys can see there it has a buy it now price of $1,710,000 and a trade price of $1,282,500. 
$5,000. The description for this one, the international symbol of self-importance, Mammoth's Patriot Mil-Spec, might be lacking standard safety features, but who cares about blind spots when the only person you don't want to hit is sitting in the driver's seat? So this is definitely a fan favorite vehicle that I think a lot of people are going to be excited to get their hands on. And it comes with some exclusive modifications that are only available at the Agency Vehicle Workshop. We'll be talking about that in future videos as well. So that's the first one. The second one is the Obey iWagon, which is an SUV. It's also an electric car for $1,720,000. So this is a trend that Rockstar has been getting into recently, adding more and more electric vehicles into the game. The iWagon, very, very cool. Uh, as you guys know, Obey is the in-game brand of Audi. So think of an Audi electric car when you're thinking of this one. So that's the iWagon. And the final one that is on the website today is the Declasse Granger 3600LX, which is an SUV that can seat eight people it has a buy it now price of $1,380,000 and a trade price of $1,035,000. Again, can seat eight people, which is pretty crazy. So those are the three vehicles that are going to be appearing on Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And then there's one mystery vehicle. And I think this might have to do with Lamar Davis's business. As we get further on in this, we'll figure out what this is truly going to be for. But there's a new Vapid Yuga Custom that has like Lamar Davis's business all over it. So I wonder if this is something that's only going to be used for the business, the LD Organics. Will it be locked to a mission? Is it unlocked in a certain way by completing all the story stuff? This is what we'll find out as we get going. Again, we've only been a couple of hours into the DLC so far, or are we going to have access to this in free roam? We're not quite sure of this yet, so this is something I will keep you guys updated on, but for now, that is the unreleased cars and vehicles as a part of the contract DLC update in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Obviously, supercars to me are very exciting, so the Overflawed Zeno, that looks fantastic. I'm also excited for that crazy new Mammoth Patriot mill spec. And I'm also pretty excited for the new motorcycles too. So you guys can let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the contract DLC videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.